all right hello everyone it's team rocket draws here with another pokemon card opening and for this video guys we're gonna be opening the cali rex ice rider v box and uh, here we have it guys there's two of these we got the shadow rider and the ice rider i do have both of them so i will be opening those uh, the other one in the future for sure guys so kind of cool it's a newer pokemon that i'm not too familiar with so i don't know like why there's an ice rider or a shadow rider so if you guys know let me know in the comment section below and uh yeah guys so it seems like it comes with the promo and a jumbo and four packs um i don't know if all four packs are gonna be chilling rain but i know the first two are for sure guys i think they all uh will be so we'll see about that and for the back in case you guys want to read it um here we have it so command the frozen lands with ice rider cali rex v ice rider cali rex v uh, fuses fuses two kinds of power generating powerful ice and moving with incredible speed enhance your collection with this royal pokemon and find helpful allies uh, skilled trainers and other treasures in pokemon tcg booster packs ice rider cali rex v combines the best elements a frost and foresight to call up a mighty blizzard and keep you in the lead so we have a promo a foil oversized card which is the jumbo and four pokemon ccg booster packs as well as a code card so there we go guys so let me open it up and let's see what kind of goodies we have inside so here we have the code card hopefully you guys get something good let me know in the comment section below and then we also got our uh promo card guys uh, sword and shield black star promo of uh, 130 so really nice card i uh, will go over in just a little bit centering is not the best which by now i'm kind of used to it right like i'm kind of used to it by now so there's nothing special about centering nowadays so let's just sleeve this baby up put it over here to the side and uh, let's go over the jumbo card which is the same card but just a jumbo version and uh we'll go over this one all right so cali rex ice rider and um i don't know what pokemon that is guys to be honest like i don't know what pokemon that is i know that's a pokemon but like i haven't like i can't tell you what the name is and then obviously i i imagine this is cali rex right there all right so it has blizzard for 40 for two energy this attack also does 10 more damage to each of your opponent's bench pokemon and we also got frost stamp for 140 for three energy so there we go and you guys can see in the bottom left corner right there sword and shield 130 all right and then it also comes with our four packs which um we got chilling rain okay so it's only two chilling rains uh darkness ablaze and a rebel clash so uh this box i actually got it from my girlfriend she was able to pick this one up for me i do have another one another ice rider because i ended up uh, ordering two of them uh from the pokemon center um the shadow and the ice rider and then my girlfriend was able to pick another this this box up and uh, she said it was gonna get some good pull so we'll see about that uh but yeah guys so we got darkness ablaze chilling rain so we'll leave the darkness ablaze for the last pack and we'll start off with rebel shield um rebel clash and then i also got two more packs to open i got two battle styles uh sword and shield battle styles packs as well so i guess we can start with these and the reason that uh i got two extra ones I, like i mentioned before in my other videos if you guys have been following me um i had another elite trainer box but i don't want to make another video guys because i've opened like six elite trainer box for battle styles and like they're not lucky at all like they're really hard to get pulls from and uh, i don't want to make another video just to get maybe a v or something like that so i'm just gonna start opening like a, a, a couple packs here and there in videos uh so yeah one two three four i think i'm gonna do that from now on i'm gonna buy like a uh elite trainer boxes separate that way like if it's one that i've already opened in the in the past more than two times um i'll just uh open it and then sprinkle some packs in uh some videos and that way it's a little bit extra right all right so reverse hollow is gonna be a con which is oh it's actually a uh, rare 
and for our last card of the pack guys and a rare it's not an ultra rare but a hollow steelix nice and it is a hollow bleed but nothing important about that i already have this one uh, so this is actually gonna go in my extras i believe i have two of them already um i keep two in my binder and then the other one i uh i have i just put it as in my extras binder and stuff like that and i don't know my sprinkle it here and there when i start selling pokemon cards uh some of these uh extra oh this one was actually the other way around i believe but we did get a white code card so we'll see what we end up getting and here's the code card hopefully you guys get something good one two three four all right guys so we're gonna start off with a fighting energy we got a single strike energy luxio durant we got a bronzor we have a tap pig patrisu mindful we got a ball toy a reverse hollow is going to be a lickitung which is a common and it seems like we ended up pulling a nutshell rare i don't know if it's going to be a regular v or a full art and for our last card of the pack guys in a rare we ended up pulling oh there we go guys we ended up pulling a rapid strike or shifu v max nice i already have this one but that's gonna be uh my second one which is actually pretty cool so you guys will see on screen the price that it goes for as of this video so the the way that i kind of get these prices is i uh go on ebay go on the sold listings and then get an estimate uh roughly what they sell for like in between so because there's people that would just buy it like a buy now so i would get like just like a rough estimate of what you know like let's say one sold for ten dollars and then another one sold through auction for seven dollars so i would say that this is worth you know um like eight or nine dollars just to you know kind of put it in between um just in case like people might get in an auction a little bit cheaper and stuff like that so that's how i go about uh, getting the prices for these cards all right so it's a rapid strike or shift of v max full art and then we got a gale thrust for 30 plus for one energy if this pokemon move if this pokemon moves from your bench to your active spot this turn this attack does 120 more damage and we got g max rapid flow for three energy discard all energy from this pokemon this attack does 120 damage to two of your opponent's pokemon nice pretty cool so there we go guys we ended up pulling a full art uh from uh one of those packs so now for our rebel clash pack there we go so rebel clash base set or no, not base set rebel clash soaring shield soaring clash you guys know what i mean one two three four um rebel clash uh, there's still some of the gold cards that i really want so we'll see if we can pull that so we're gonna start off with the fighting energy we got a burning scarf olina luxio we got a caterpie fire boach we got a recruita stuffle uh low tad our reverse hollow is gonna be a drag cloak which is uh uncommon and for our last card of the pack guys Santa rare it seems like we ended up pulling a not rare uh so far it seems like it's gonna be a v we ended up pulling oh what we got a drag cloak and then we got a dragon pole so <laughs> <laughs> this is actually pretty interesting um but yeah guys we ended up pulling a dragapult v which i don't think i do have so pretty pretty cool i think i have the full art if i'm not mistaken but uh 92 out of 192 nice dragapult v it has buy for 30 for one energy and it also has a jet assault for 60 plus uh for two energy if this pokemon move from your bench to the active spot this turn this attack does 80 more damage so it's kind of similar to the Urshifu of v max nice really cool it's gonna be another card added to my ultra rare collection binder i actually got another binder yesterday and um man guys they're so expensive i should have bought more back in the day uh so like a year ago i ended up buying i don't know maybe i bought two four six eight probably like around 10 binders 
and at that time i thought they were expensive uh they were 30 dollars and uh and it's the thing it's called the bcw something like that uh 12 pocket uh sip sip up folders and they're like 40 420 cards i think they they fit 420 uh so it's for one page there's 12 pockets is what i'm trying to say and uh yeah and they're actually really nice the quality i really like it but um they were 30 dollars and at that time i was like man that's a lot for a binder you know like i could get other cheaper ones and that could probably fit 420 parts as well you know what i mean but i just like the, that they were zip up and everything i just like the feel of everything so i ended up actually here's the code card i ended up um buying them and then recently i wanted to get more because i told you guys that my ultra rare and my hollow binder are starting to fill up and uh i looked into them they were like 40 45 dollars so i was like what you know i thought at 30 dollars they were expensive but at 45 i don't know if i would buy them <laughs> you know what i mean that's too much um so i ended up uh, looking them to see if i could find them in other places and i was able to find them on ebay for i believe 40 dollars so i did end up buying one just you know because uh just in case i fill one of those up and for our reverse hollow guys we ended up getting an impact energy which is an uncommon and for our last card of the pack guys and a rare it's not an ultra rare but a regular rare galarian wheezing hmm i don't remember having this card all right guys so now for the second pack with chilling rain yeah but for 40 dollars guys oh that's so expensive like i was gonna wait for them to go down and i think at this point that's the last one i'm gonna buy i think from now on if i do let's say that i do buy those i'm not gonna buy more than one at a time so i'm just gonna buy one here and there and then slowly start getting them because that's a lot of money for a binder especially when there's uh, other uh, binders out there right that are a lot cheaper one two three four um so yeah all right so here we have a leaf energy and every time i get new cards like those like the ultra rares and the hollows um it just keeps adding up and getting closer to finishing so i'm just surprised i got that far guys that's a lot of ultra rares uh dearly our reverse hollow is going to be a hunter which is an uncommon and for our rare and last card of the pack guys it's not an ultra rare but a hollow uh regular rare kecleon almost said a hollow it's actually a really interesting kecleon you can see so many different kecleons in the picture you see how many kecleons do you guys see um so i see one wow this is so confusing so I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see eight cake leons, guys. Let me know in the comment section below how many you guys see. You might want to pause the video and check it out. But I see eight, I believe. All right, so now for our last pack, guys it's gonna be the darkness of blaze and i need to remember that these the, the the actual code card is facing the wrong way right there we go i got it right so hope you guys get something good one two three four let's see if we can pull that charizard all right we're gonna start oh we did get an ultra rare nice we're gonna end the video with a good note guys and a chance at pulling that um charizard so i see something shiny and it seems like it's gonna be a full art i wasn't i just saw the top but you can kind of see the texture even though it's like a small amount of it uh, but i was able to see that it's textured uh so it's really easy to tell the views from the full arts and stuff like that obviously a gold card you would see the gold but uh, other than that like uh, it's silver it's kind of silver so it might be a trainer card or something like that our reverse hollow is going to be a desi die guys which is a rare and for our last card of the pack guys in the video it is an ultra rare did we pull it no it seems like it's going to be a trainer oh <laughs> so excited guys we ended up pulling a pierce full art trainer nice 187 out of 189 
um centering actually seems pretty decent it might be a little um sad aside it's actually not that bad guys it might be a little right to left but not by much and uh, for sure it is bottom to top so the bottom being thicker than the top that's why i'm saying it's bottom to top because the bottom is kind of pushing the top but um nice so search your deck for an energy card and a, what is that is that a dark energy i think that's a dark energy pokemon reveal them and put them into your hand then shuffle your deck nice let's look at the back yeah so it's it is left to right but obviously being over here it's right to left um and then you guys can see the top and bottom the the bottom is way thicker than the top so that's why i say bottom to top because uh the bottom's thicker so the actual picture is moving up it's like you know slowly higher just in case you guys were wondering how or why i say it because I, I think a lot of people might you know say it differently um right to left left to right stuff like that the opposite of how i see it um so just explaining myself but although you guys could obviously see um what i mean right so something that I just noticed is that it has these like like thunderbolts obviously due to the music yeah you guys can see them down here that's like a bunch of thunderbolts wow that's actually pretty cool i didn't realize that till now so not bad guys so i think in the end we ended up doing pretty good we ended up getting uh a full art trainer in the box and a v um as well as a hollow or the hollow no no the hollow is actually from um the battle style so i'm not going to count that so we ended up pulling a v and a full art trainer for that box and then obviously for our two packs of battle styles we ended up pulling the Orshifu and the hollow um steelix so not bad guys i do have a tutorial on how to draw steelix in case you guys are interested um i am gonna from now on start putting a playlist of all my pokemon drawing tutorials um in the description there should be uh, a link for drawing pokemon drawing tutorials and uh, it has all of them guys starting for from uh, the first one that i posted up even though i'm not putting all of them on there because some of the the first ones that i ended up putting i wasn't too happy with they were like 40 minutes long so i'm not gonna put those up but they are there's some other ones in there they, they were the starters and um so you guys can find those in the starters playlist if you guys are you know really want to know you know all the ones that i've done but i'm almost uh well i'm over 200 uh drawing tutorials guys pokemon drawing tutorials uh, but for that playlist um i need one more to make it 200 i believe so really excited about that guys that's a lot of hours a lot of drawings and a lot of tutorials you know what i mean so really excited about that but uh yeah guys so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos and i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket draws out